this is Shake Master J, and I've come to you with another episode, another volume of the Heartbreak Kid Stories. Um, now my la my first story, my inaugural um, volume. I dwelled on something that was pretty much initially one of the darkest um, period as far as, you know, this series is concerned. I want to bring something a little bit more lighter and less harmless. Um, and I want to go into... I want to go into the first woman I personally asked out. This woman's name is Caitlin Austin. Um, I think I remember this was around 2005. This is my seventh grade year. Now I told you. I've been into girls for a while, and I had crushes, very few, but I had crushes, but I didn't know what to do. This girl, she was a sixth, she was a sixth grader, and she was in my gym class. She's been nice to me a couple of times, and just one day in school, I told her I liked her. Now she ended up giving me a response that, in my opinion, was as honest news, and straightforward as I don't know what, but for some strange reason, I didn't know how to handle it well. This girl told me, you know, she wanted to be friends because she didn't really know me like that. She wanted to get to know me, but I never really understood that back then until now. It would make more sense. I would kill to be told that, even if she said that there's no... I would have killed to be told that, but hey, you know what? I'm over the girl, and what's done is done. But back then, I don't know why she wouldn't date me. And I made a big spectacle. Everyone knew that. And I was like, I didn't know what was going on. But then I grow up. And, you know, it's weird. Because I know some of the kids in my gym. It's weird because I was the only 7th grader in my gym class. Um, the only 7th grader in my gym class. Because I want, you know, during the time I didn't have a gym class, and they gave me a gym class, and they switched me to a professor, but then they ended up switching me to the wrong professor, because the wrong uh, coach, because it was a bunch of kids, so they switched me to the last coach, which had 7th graders, but it was the wrong group of kids. Um, because I was the only 7th grader in that class. Now luckily they managed to take me out be because um, of a change in my schedule. A teacher retired and they had to change it around. So all the people in my grade, all the people that, you know, were in my, um, I used to take remedial classes back in 7th, back in the 7th grade. So all the kids who were in that class, when, since one of the teachers ended up retiring, I believe, um, they had to switch the schedule around. They found out that I was doing well in language arts, that they had to boost me up a rank before uh, they were ready enough to take me into regular ed classes. Um... So I never got to see Caitlyn that much. But I knew she was part of the cheerleading squad. 
and you know, I like I said, I learned so many kids try to hook so many kids during the time I was in I was in her gym class with all these sixth graders. They tried to hook me up. They tried to do all that. It's like, yo, I know Kate likes you, man. He's got all this gold if you date him. I told him he got all this gold if you date him. You know, this and that. You know, just trying their hardest. Trying their hardest to get at me. To get me to go with this girl. But, you know, stuff happens. And one thing I will say about the past, about back then is... And things are different, you know. Eventually, you know, afterwards, I ended up going to Jacksonville because, you know, my mother, my mother moved. So when I came back down here in 2011 or 12, and I became friends with her on Facebook, I brought it up. We don't really talk too much, but I brought it up, and she's like, "Oh, I remember you," you know. And it just, you know, I look back at she's like, I only uh, remember having she does. Uh, I don't really date him, like, check this out. She doesn't, she only had two boyfriends during her high school years. I mean, I don't know what she's doing now. I haven't been friends with her in a while. But, I think two years ago, we, she kind of drifted apart. Whatever the case is. I meet this girl at a bar down here. I mean, I don't even say anything, but, you know, I think about, you know, where I am. And this series and whatnot, and how different it could have been had I just been less stubborn. I was young, and at the time, I was tired of being told. I didn't want to be told no. But I was told no, and I was just like, come on, come on, come on. Now, you know, I look at that. I'm lucky to be told that, because these girls won't be honest with you. She's one of the few girls that could have done that, and I guess I took advantage of it. But... You know, that's my fault. 100% my fault. I should have just been patient. But I was too impatient. Because I was so... This is... You know, I have to keep in mind. Y'all gotta keep in mind. This is the first girl I've ever asked out. This is the first girl I have ever asked out in my entire life. And... You know... I just want... I just wanted... I wanted something. I wanted something so bad, but hey, you know, I look at it and it's like, you know what, hey, whatever the case is, it, it's the past and, I, you know, you learn from it, but I'll never forget Caitlin Austin as the first girl, it's like she's barely under the radar, but it's like, First girl I've ever asked out, but, you know, I would, if I do see her at a, at the place I saw her one time, I'd be like, hey, you know, remember me, I just, I, I could have thought she was going to school, so, you know, but, oh well, anyway, this, this has been, you know, a volume two of the heartbreak stories it's only been like what eight minutes compared to the last one which was a full hour well, actually two parts an hour and 30 minutes if you less than and th less than an hour and 30 minutes if you really do the parts together but, but just going on nine minutes well anyway um you know i'll have more stories and it's jake master j and i hope to see you guys in the future and Stay clean, my good folks. Peace.